Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about why I decided to major in public relations. And I'm also going to be giving some advice to any of you who are currently in the process of picking your college major. This is a question that I get asked a lot but I've never actually talked about it on this channel. I'm going to start from the very beginning and talk a little bit about how my career aspirations have evolved over time. First thing that I can remember wanting to be when I was younger was an inventor. I really like woodworking and I really like building things and I really wanted to be an inventor for some reason. I don't really know what I wanted to invent but I would always tell people that I wanted to be an inventor. Then when I was a little bit older in first grade, I discovered this, I discovered filmmaking, and I started making videos and short films with this DV camera. At that time, I could not write at all. My handwriting was so bad that I had to go to occupational therapy, but video making was a way for me to tell stories. And this was in 2003 or 2004, so this was before social media, this was before YouTube was really popular. So I mostly just made the videos for my family and friends, but that was when I really started to think about becoming a filmmaker in the future and for a while that's what I wanted to do. Then when I got a little bit older and my handwriting got a little bit better and I got my first Mac, I started to get more into writing. I really loved creative writing and I loved writing fantasy stories and that was something that I wanted to do for a while. Then when I was in middle school, I started to get really confused about what I wanted to do. I got back into making videos, but I also really liked writing and I was also considering going into law. So there are a lot of different things that I was thinking about and I was really unsure. So I entered high school not really knowing what I wanted to do with my future. But during freshman orientation, someone came up to me and asked if I had thought about joining yearbook. So I joined yearbook and I really started to get into it. And in 2013, in the spring of my freshman year, I went to the National High School Journalism Convention, which happened to be in San Francisco. And I met students who were doing yearbook and journalism from all over the country. And at that point, I decided that I wanted to go into journalism. I always read the news and watched the news I was really interested in politics and current events growing up, so I thought that it would be the perfect career for me. But then a little bit later on in high school, I think I was about 15 or 16 at this point, I had to go to this workshop called Kids Turn. If you haven't watched some of my other videos, you might not know this, but my parents got divorced when I was very young. They were not very good at communicating with each other. They pretty much only communicated through email and court, so it was a pretty high conflict divorce situation. So my brother and I and my parents were forced to go to this workshop called Kids Turn, which was supposed to help everybody communicate a little bit better. My mom didn't end up going to this thing, but that's a whole other story. But the important thing is I was at this multi-week workshop with a bunch of other kids that were in similar situations as me, and we were talking about communication and conflict resolution and our lives. And a lot of the discussions that we were having were about communication and strategy. So those of you that have been in a similar situation know that when your parents don't communicate very well, you really have to step up and communicate for yourself, and you really have to communicate strategically to get your needs met and to just do basic things in life. And it was in that moment when I was talking to these other kids that I realized, I'm actually kind of good at strategic communication. Maybe I should go into this. So from that point on, I was deciding between journalism or strategic communication slash PR. And it was a really difficult decision for me because I love journalism. I still do. I think I would be really happy as a journalist. But at the same time, I recognize that it's dying and that there aren't gonna be a lot of journalism jobs. So ultimately I ended up choosing PR because it's similar to journalism in a lot of ways. There's still a lot of writing involved, but it's growing at a much faster rate and I think there will be a lot more job opportunities available to me. And the more that I've learned about it through my classes and being in PRSA, the more excited I become about it. It's really a field that's evolved. It's not just writing press releases anymore. There's also a lot of content creation involved and social media and influencer relations and things like that. So I'm very happy to be a PR major and I'm really glad that I made this decision. I actually knew about PR growing up. My uncle did PR for the Air Force for multiple decades. So I always knew that it was an option, but I never really knew that much about the agency side of things and some of the ways that it's evolved because of social media and the internet. So that's the story of how I chose my major. So now I'm gonna give some advice for any of you out there who are still undecided about what you wanna major in. The first thing that I wanna say, which is the most important thing that I'm gonna say in this video, is that it needs to be your decision you're gonna be studying this for multiple years and there's a pretty good chance that this is the field that you're gonna go into. So don't let your parents pressure you into doing something that you don't wanna do. Cause one, you're probably not gonna be happy doing something that you don't like every single day for the rest of your life. And two, if you decide to do something else after you get the degree, you might have to go back to school or do additional training and pretty much start back from the beginning again, which is probably not something that you wanna do. I don't think that there's anything wrong with changing your mind, but I think that it's a lot easier if you pick the right major 
from the beginning. Um, it's absolutely possible to switch your major while you're in college. And of course you can go back to school and get another bachelor's degree or get a master's degree or do an internship or a fellowship or some other form of training to switch into a different career path. But I would suggest going with what you really wanna do from the beginning. For those of you that have absolutely no idea what you want to do, or you're deciding between a few different things, I suggest taking a lot of different electives that you're interested in early on in your college career so you can explore different options and see what you're really passionate about. I would also suggest volunteering or interning or getting jobs in fields you might be interested in going into so that you can really see what it would be like if you went into that field. Those are my main bits of advice. If you have any other questions for me, Feel free to comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. But the point that I'm trying to make here is that you should explore your options, try to find something that you really enjoy and that you'd be excited to do every single day. If you're in college right now, let me know what you're majoring in or thinking about majoring in down in the comments below. I love you all so much, stay awesome, and I'll see all of you very soon with a new video. Goodbye.